Hi, my name's Peter Googe and I'm the product uh, manager for Kuhn Krauss and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today at a National Farm Machinery Show about our new CCX 9000 cover crop seeder. This cover crop seeder we have here, we have it mounted on the accelerator. This is a 20 foot accelerator, but we're going to offer it on 11, 14, 20 and 25 foot units this year. Um, it has a 21 cubic foot capacity tank up there and underneath it meters the seed using an electrically driven metering unit. The CCX9000 is monitored and controlled by our Quantron S2 control system. It uses a speed signal from the tractor radar to adjust the metering unit automatically in relation to forward speed. So if you're set, if you're set your target speed at eight miles an hour, but due to conditions, uh, you end up slowing down to, for example, six miles an hour or seven miles an hour, it'll slow the metering unit down in, in relation to that so you don't over apply seed. Similarly, if you speed up for a reason, for example, you're coming down a hill, um, then it'll uh, it will also speed the metering unit up so you don't under apply seed. This is a system which is very similar to what you might find on an air drill and in fact this whole unit came from, uh, is the same as is used on our air drills back in Europe. It's new to us in North America but uh, to Kuhn as a company it's been used for 15 years and we have thousands of distribution systems like that out reliably working in the field. The calibration is made directly from the control box, very quick and easy to calibrate. You can do it in the shed before you go out to the field. Uh, the Quantron will walk you through the calibration process. It's simply a matter of starting the calibration system and then uh, it'll meter out some seed. You weigh that seed, put the weight back into the control box and it'll give you the correct adjustment for the, for the metering unit. The metering unit is adjusted using a simple crank handle on the side there and so it is, uh, it's all very accessible, uh, very, as I say, very quick and very reliable. There's never any need to add or remove components from the metering unit to adjust to seed size or seed rate. If you need to, if you're using a very small seed, then there are a set of small seed splines which are integrated within the metering unit. There's a latch you release, and these just slide inside to reduce the volume of the reduce the volume of the cup so that it picks up less seed per rotation. When you're not using them, they slide back out and latch in position, but you don't have to take them off the machine or store them anywhere or anything like this. After the metering unit, the seed is blown back down that big long primary tube using a hydraulically driven fan. We only need one additional uh, SCV from the tractor to run this machine, with the, only the fan is hydraulically driven. So the, the seed is blown back and it's blown back to the divider head up there. And again, this is something that you're very you're likely to know, know or have seen on air drills before. The seed is blown up the tower and then it's burst out of the top and divided around the outlets. Um, and we get a very, very even split of seed across the outlets there. It falls, goes down the seed tubes uh, out of the distributors at the bottom. The distributors we have placed between the star wheels and the reel at the back of the machine. The reason for doing this is that we get a lot of soil movement off those star wheels as they're picking up soil and using it to anchor residue. And we want to make sure that we have the option of putting seed more forwards into that flow, uh, into that soil flow and, and placing the seed deeper or moving the seed backwards and uh, having it placed more towards the reel so that the seed is placed a little bit shallower and uh, our distribute our seed diffusers at the back there they're actually mounted on a bracket which can move into one of three positions to do just that and that adjustment is made very simply there are no wrenches needed there are a couple of latches that are moved that are disengaged and you can just move that uh, move that rail into one of the three positions re-engage the latches and you're good to go at the moment we are offering it just on the accelerator um, as I say, 11 to 25 feet in the first year. Uh, it'll retrofit to an 8000 series accelerator as well, but uh, we're all, always assessing new opportunities uh, as we continue to develop projects.